activities that help boost my kind of experiences and then i realized that not only strategy and not only knowing the platform is the key is kind of working of getting to know yourself and the psychology that you bring basically the mindset that you bring to the training is the final no, uh, no. let's say a uh, chair or stool that, that kind of brings you over the edge to another funded trader of trade pool today another funded trader Rocco is with me how are you doing buddy doing great. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. thanks for jumping to this interview congrats obviously on passing the evaluation um Rocco basically passed the evaluation of the super buying power so for those of you not familiar with it basically means that you trade on eighty thousand dollar of buying power once you pass the evaluation, you get funded and continue to trade with the same capital. So obviously that's a, a great amount of capital to trade with. Um, tell us a little bit about the process, Rocco, just you know, going in through the evaluation, passing it, the, the trades that you made. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, great. So uh, I'm a relatively new trader, like of uh, two years. And, uh, uh, I was looking for an opportunity to kind of join a prop firm uh, uh, out there and uh, I tested one and wasn't so happy and then I think TTP appeared. It's like a fate, so to speak. <laughs> so uh, I joined the TTP, uh, I got familiar with the platform, uh, I liked the risk parameters that are set obviously by experienced traders and uh, they are basically the means to success. So uh, I tried uh, with a small the 20k and then i realized that after i kind of got into sort of the strategy to become profitable where the probability was on the winning side right that, that's interesting and and you're saying two years of trading right so that's not a lot but uh you traded also uh, i guess your own capital right but, uh, I tried once with my own capital, but mainly in SIM. So I used mm. uh, two different softwares where I kind of was SIM training and I joined uh, some uh, trading communities that helped boost my kind of experiences. And then I realized that not only strategy and not only knowing the platform is the key, it is kind of working of getting to know yourself and the psychology that you bring, basically the mindset that you bring to the trading is the final, no, no. Uh, let's say, uh, chair or stool that, that kind of brings you over the edge to the success. Yeah, 100%. And this is something that I always repeat on videos, webinars. You know, the mentality of a trader will be the game changer, not the strategy, right? Not the technical part of it. But actually, when, when you're trading, you have a winner mentality or a loser mentality. You are more impulse than others and such, those kind of elements will actually uh, be the one that determine if you will make it or not. I always give the example of, you know, NBA players, um, they push the, they're pushed, they basically push themselves into the edge or, or trying always to improve. And, and this is what we do as well as traders every single day. We're just looking to improve, taking the stuff that we did, analyzed it and try to understand what can we do better the next day on the mental side and on the technical side of course so uh let's jump into your hub and i want to share it with the guys at home basically each trader that joined trader pool gets his own hub and a dashboard so you can uh, watch everything you do all the trades that you made and everything around it so let me share the screen and show the guys okay this is yours like i said you passed the evaluation the uh eighty thousand dollar your your target was 4200 interesting to see the chart very interesting we'll talk about it in a second because you had like a flat beginning right a little bit of a drawdown and then you started to gain some profit so that was great uh, but let's talk a little bit about before that let's talk about your trades in general or your positions that you made um about 85 of them 
tell me a little bit about what you do in your trading. You got AFRM here, AI, Pepsi. So you're trading large cap, mid cap. What is it that you're looking for? How do you find the right asset to trade on the same day? Yeah, so, so my trading plan actually starts before the market opens. I'm looking for the stocks in play that day, uh, which are usually the stocks that had earnings uh, the day before, after the close or before the open. Uh, then I look at their pre-market activity. I want to see like a smooth, so to speak, activity with high volume before the open. And yeah. then uh, then when it's open, uh, and then actually I go to the daily chart to uh, mark the support and resistance level for that particular stock. Uh, I have my two top picks that I monitor after the open. And then uh, based on times and sales and my support and resistance uh levels kind of yeah. i decided my entry and see exactly which seller or big buyer which big seller i go to short with a big buyer i go to long uh, got that's it. my and uh, basically my targets for profits are then again those support or resistance levels or when i see that again another big buyer or big seller comes in on the times and sales to kind of kick me out <laughs> so to speak so, so, so that's my uh, open play, right? And since that's a little bit more volatile, that's what I was learning with ETP. Uh, when there is bigger volatility, you have to place your stops farther than you would in a less volatile environment to yeah. kind of survive, so to speak. <laughs> that yeah, fluctuation, true. right? Uh, after 10:30, I have Trade Idea Scanner that is looking for different set of stocks in play. I focus on the stocks that have four percent difference from the close of the day before and that that went through at least 20 minutes of consolidation phase and then have a breakout so it's basically a breakout uh, trade after yeah. the consolidation of a stock that already had a high volume and that was uh, on a high volume so these are the two strategies that i worked out and then by 1 p.m i'm basically done usually okay so you mostly trade the, the first uh, two hours or so? Um, yeah, and, and I uh, always take a break <laughs> between the morning and <laughs> the second one just to reset my mindset for a slower environment. <laughs> so, uh, so obviously that's super important to take that break, to understand that uh, your mind cannot stay focused like 100% of the time for, for like two or three hours. So definitely this is a good tip for everyone. You know, I see traders trading six and a half hours, right, for the whole trading day. Uh, but, you know, you cannot really stay focused completely for six and a half hours. In most cases, you know, you got an hour that you can keep your focus on. So you got to take those tiny breaks. Uh, super important. You know, every hour or so, just take 10 minutes even. Go do some walking, jump, you know, pump your blood again get your coffee and uh, jump in uh, jump in again. Yeah. So let's talk about two things that, that are amazing to me. One, we'll start with this. Uh, like I said, you had some drawdowns, but then at one point you find your rhythm and started to make those gains. Let's talk a little bit about that. What happened in the beginning that didn't happen um, afterwards and What's the difference between the, the drawdowns or the flat to the uh, time that you actually started to see some profits? Yeah, I, I follow the, the rule, let the winners run and losers will be losers anyway. <laughs> so when the jump is basically, I let the winners run because I realized uh, with my post analysis that I'm basically stopping out at one hour or one and a half hour instead of four or five hours that was the best exit, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of just, uh, so to speak, was sitting on my hands longer. <laughs> Got it. That, yeah. That's also a great tip. I mean, from time to time, obviously, I talk to a lot of guys uh, that pass in the evaluation or during their evaluations, and I see that it's great to be a scalper. It's great to take your profit very fast. You can be very profitable trading as a scalper, but if you will keep 10% of your position in and just do this, do this practice, right? Test that. Keep your 10% position in, let it ride, let it run, 
and see where it goes. In most cases, you will see that it actually can make you lots more profit. And then once you understand that, um, like on the mental level, you will start living a little bit longer, 15%, 20%, instead of just uh, taking everything out very quickly. So let your profit run. That's a, that's a great one. And uh, you just need to test it. If you're at home watching it right now and just getting out of the trade immediately after a few minutes, keep 10%, 5% inside. Let it run and see what happens. It will change your trading completely. I can guarantee you that from experience. That's a great advice, and I absolutely agree at this moment. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and second thing that is very interesting to me, I'm looking at the trades, right? So the last trade was at uh, the 9th of February. Your first trade, 5th of February. How many evaluation before that you had? Uh, I have uh, several. But, but I went through kind of like tried different kind of sizes. So basically, uh, like I went 160, 20, and 80. So kind of, and 80 is, I guess, from my psychology, my personality, the best. Yeah. Uh, with, the, with the risk parameters and uh, the size position that I'm taking. So, so technically, you passed the evaluation within four days. That, that's incredible. Obviously, like you said, you had a few attempts before, so you already know the platform, you know the risk parameters, but it's amazing to pass the evaluation within four days. And, and like you said, you've been trading for two years. So th that's really impressive, very much. Yeah, I think that now when you mentioned platform, basically what I think helped me previously, I was looking at like, uh, uh, the times and sales and level two on a different platform, but I was trading in TTP. Mm. But then I started using time and sales from TTP in parallel with my trading, and that kind of helped to kind of synchronize. I guess maybe, was delayed, maybe some delay between the two. <laughs> so I don't know. Amazing. Uh, okay, so obviously I wish you best of luck. Hopefully the first check will arrive soon. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to watch the trades to see what are you doing uh, during the, the funded uh, phase. Um, because I love, I always say that in the videos, most of our funded traders are trading penny stocks. So I love to see guys that are trading also mid and large cap. Mm -hmm. uh, always great to have it. So best of luck, Rocco. And you guys at home that want to join, feel free. Go to tradepool.com. Uh, we have 14 days free trial. And we got so much uh, going on right now. In a month or so, we will announce some very unique uh, features. So make sure you stay tuned uh, through this website or uh, YouTube channel, everything uh, on social media. Take care for now. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck.